welcome back, Mandy with My Hectic Life Pets, where we talk about all things pet and pet related. And today we're gonna be discussing some of the reasons why your water in your aquarium might be a little bit on the cloudy side. So the first reason is the most common reason, which is that you have a brand new tank, you just set it up, and you didn't rinse the gravel and the ornaments before putting them in the tank. This can cause a very cloudy looking appearance to the water in your tank, but after a few water changes and running the filter for a while, this should clear up and settle. Now, sometimes even though you did rinse the gravel, you may not have rinsed it thoroughly enough and there could still be residue and dust on the gravel that when you go to fill up the tank, it still ends up looking like a cloudy, murky mess in there. Once again though, a few water changes, you should be squared away. So you got your newly set up aquarium all squared away and a few weeks later or a few days later, sometimes even a month or so later, all of a sudden your tank has this weird milky look to it. This can be sometimes caused by a bacteria bloom. Now the bacteria bloom is completely harmless and it usually clears up after a day or two. Sometimes during the cycling process though, this can take a little bit longer to clear up, but again, it's just the bacteria and once the bacteria sort of settle and establish and colonize in your tank, this milky appearance should disappear with time. Now there can be other issues that could cause that milky cloudy appearance in your tank if you're not doing proper gravel vacuuming, you could have excess food or debris that was left in the tank, or even decaying plant matter that can also cause that kind of dirty appearance to your tank water. But this again, after a few water changes, usually the problem gets resolved. Now, another problem that can cause cloudiness in the water is overpopulation of fish or overfeeding your fish. This can cloud up your aquarium pretty quickly. We all do have a terrible tendency of overfeeding our fish, and so we just kinda have to be mindful of how much are your fish gonna actually eat. If you're developing cloudiness in your water after feeding, obviously it's time to cut back a little bit on that food. This is an easy one to solve because then you just obviously cut back on how much you're feeding your fish. We're all guilty at some point in overfeeding our fish. It's fun to watch our fish eat, so we like to throw a lot of food in there. Because many of the fish that we keep are so small, we don't realize like how much just a few pellets per fish really is. I don't know how many times I've seen somebody just throw a handful of fish food into a tank that only has like three or four like two inch long fish in there. They're not gonna eat that much food. So naturally, it's gonna clod up the aquarium. So again, super easy fix just cut back on how much you're feeding your fish. Now, if it's a matter of overcrowding and you have just too many fish in one tank, then you might wanna consider rehoming some of those fish, maybe getting an additional tank, and maybe even upping your filtration and doing extra water changes. So I hope this kinda helps clear up your water situation for you and get you having crystal clear water in your aquarium so you can actually look in and enjoy those fish that you uh, worked so hard for. So I hope this kind of helps give you some ideas and clues as to why your water might be having kind of a milky, murky appearance to it. There are other factors such as having extremely hard water that can sometimes cloud up the tank. Having really, really high phosphorus can cloud up the tank sometimes. But these are the main overall reasons that I have seen as far as why people's aquariums tend to get cloudy more often than not. So that's all for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.